Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder and today I want to introduce a new extension that's available for download on the Tecla warehouse called the Trimble Connect Model Reviewer. This tool will allow you to collaborate with Trimble Connect users utilizing the Property Set service. So this is my Tecla Structures model that I want to share with people. I've already uploaded it into Trimble Connect and invited the team members that I want to collaborate with. And as I mentioned, this collaboration can take place utilizing property sets. If you're not familiar with property sets, if you click on a part or an assembly here within the model and open up the property pane, you can see that there's access to information included in the file. And then we have edit icons here for the property sets that exist within this project. So I've already created two. So here I have an example of a review workflow where if I click edit, I can come in and choose from an option dropdown of a review status. I also have the option to type in text for review comments. And then I have a similar setup here for an erection workflow where I have an option dropdown of things that I can choose from. I can set an installation date for an example and an erection comment where it's just text that's inserted here. So this is very generic. You can come in and create any sort of option dropdowns that you want. If you've never seen how to do that before, you can do that utilizing the property set library. Here's an example of what I was just showing. So if I come in and click on uh, the erection workflow, you can see here, this is how I gave it a name, defined a dropdown choice option here through the dropdown and then added in the values. A uh, similar idea here for a poor status where I have the dropdown choice the values that are there, and then anything else that I may want to see regarding that data. So these are things that can be set up and shared and utilized from project to project as needed. So if I come back here, you notice that I already have property sets applied to some of these members. Using the organizer, I can very easily view that information. So if I want to colorize the model by my review status, I can do that. And if I expand this, you can see what the colors mean. So everything that's in green is approved. Everything that's yellow is approved is noted and red is revise and resubmit. So I can easily see in Trimble Connect where property sets have been added and where they haven't. Another example here is the site status. So if I come in and spin this around and expand this, we can see that I have things that are uh, in blue are on site, things that are purple are in transit and things that are orange have been installed. And then one last example here for the poor status, I can easily see things that have the site prep done, uh, where the form and the rebar has taken place and those that have been poured. So visualizing and adding property set information here within Trimble Connect um, is quite easy to do. This does require a business premium license to edit this information or to audit, author this information. Anyone with a business license would be able to view information that's already been inserted into the model. But now if I wanna view that information in my native Tecla Structures project, that's why we've created this tool. So once it's installed and you're in Tecla Structures, you'll see a new icon on your side pane over here called the Trimble Connect Model Reviewer. So I'll click on that. And you can see that I have some settings already loaded in here. It's, it's viewing my review status. If I come down here to the settings window, I can open this and under property name, this will pull in those options that I've defined within my property set library. So these are the three categories that I had of review status, the poor status and site status. And then I have visibility options where I can come in and control how I want the rest of the model that doesn't have property sets assigned to it to appear. And then I can come in and define the colors for the options that have been defined. And once I'm satisfied with those, I can save those away. So for example, I can load my review status. And when I come back here, I can view the colorized model based upon the colors defined in the settings window by clicking this button down here. So I'll click that button and now you can see those traffic light colors of red, yellow, and green indicating the approved, approved is noted, and revise and resubmit. So down here I have selection options. So when I select a part in a tree, I can automatically zoom to that. I can have it highlighted in the model. So as I click through these, it'll zoom me to those individual locations, making it easy for me to identify those within the model. We also have visibility settings, so if I want to hide anything, I can hide these individual assemblies or I can hide an entire group if I want, however you need to interact with the information. 
We also have right click options. So if I want to collapse all the nodes or expand all the nodes or change everything from vi hidden to visible, I can do that. And the reverse works as well for my selection. So if I wanted to highlight an object here within the model and find out where it was in the tree, I'll just select my assemblies and then I can click this button down here to select in tree from model. It will then highlight it for me here. And then I can see in this card that it's set to approved, but it's showing me that this is version two. So that means that there was something else that happened to this. And if I want to see the history of that, I can click this button down here to open the property view. And now what this will show me is the history of the property set. So this review status was set to approved as noted back on October 5th. And then if I hover over the card, I can see that this review status was set to approved on October 14th. So there I have a history of that information. We also have some other features available here that I'll highlight if I come select one of these that are revised and resubmit. I can click this button. It'll find it for me in the tree. And then here as I hover over this card, it's bringing in the review comments. So I know that this is revise and resubmit. It's telling me the review comment is to see the drawing. So we have another tab up here called links. So if there's anything linked to these parts or assemblies in Trimble Connect, you'll be able to view that here. It could be a, a PDF like is shown in this example. It could be an, an image file. Any, any generic file that's linked there in Trimble Connect you can view here. And if I want to see what the comments were on the drawing, I can click this button. It will open up the drawing in the 2D viewer within Trimble Connect. And then I can see here in red the clouded area here indicating that we're waiting for some elevation information that will be determined by the site survey. So there's a nice workflow where you can status something in Trimble Connect, but then also refer to the document or the drawing if you need to provide additional information. So one last example uh, that I'll show here within the model. Let's go back into the settings and I'll just load one of these others. Let's go to site status. There's various view options here. So you can see that it colorized the model and then hid the rest of the model. Those are just different settings. So any option drop downs that you have defined in Trimble Connect in those property sets can be viewed and utilized here within Tecla Structures so that you can have that data that you need directly in the application that you're working in. So I showed a lot of features in this video. I've created separate videos about those in the past, but I'll create a full tutorial video showing how I set this entire thing up so that if you want to start from the beginning, I'll walk you through how to do that. But this is a powerful tool that allows users to collaborate between Trimble Connect and Tecla Structures. As always, we invite you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.